Welcome back, everybody. We're chatting now with Dustin Lynch. No doubt you've heard his new song on the radio, Cowboys and Angels. Great to have you talking with Good us to today. Be here. Yeah. Let's talk about the song. What are you hearing from fans? What are they saying about it? They're relating to it. I think yeah. all the girls think they're angels for some reason, you know? Well, because we are. That's right. No, it's it's going <laughs> great for us. Cowboys and Angels has changed my life. Yeah. First song ever on radio, top 20, and rocking pretty hard for us. Is it kind of unbelievable to you? It is, yeah. I mean, I've... I think I've watched interviews on TV from this spot. Now I'm actually on this side of the camera. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, I'm a country fan first and foremost. I've been coming to the festival as a fan for years. Yeah. So, uh, it's kind of different to be on this side to of be it this time. Today. Yeah. yeah. Now, awesome. a lot of people may not know this. You're actually heavily, heavily involved in the Bluebird Cafe, which yeah. a lot of people know so legendary. You know, yeah. a lot of people got their start there. How important was that cafe to you? Well, I, when I moved to Nashville nine years ago, I didn't know a person. So I, I figured. You know, I want to be a songwriter, mm -hmm. and I, I figured I'd be close to where the songwriters go and hang, and that's Bluebird. So I rented a house right behind Bluebird, walk over every night I could, and check it out and learn, and I think it made me a better songwriter. Yeah, you know, I'm sure at first you sat there and watched other artists perform, yeah. then you got to get up there, and now to have a song on the radio and be a performer, what a journey that you've yeah. taken. Yeah, just tell me kind of how you're feeling about that, looking well, back Well, you now. know, the greatest reward is seeing, uh, you know, the power of country radio and, and going mm -hmm. across the country, and wherever we go, they're singing the song back to us. And as a songwriter and an artist, that's the greatest reward. When, you, when you've written something, um, I wrote Cowboys and Angels, when you, you know, I've written that song, you know, kind of from a personal spot about my grandparents, and um, to see that other people are linked to that. That's the mm -hmm. greatest reward. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to be performing out here on the Riverfront stage. You know, um, anything that you're going to do to kind of get yourself, you know, pumped up for it? Oh, or? yeah. Push-ups. Oh, okay. I'm going to do a swan dive off of this with a, probably a gainer. Swim over so and then standard, climb up and So standard, standard preparation. Yeah, I think well, everyone usually, we talked to today said that they were doing well, you, that. Well, usually right before I so. go on stage, it's a it's a quick toothbrush. I've got a weird quirk. i got to brush my teeth before I go on stage. Oh, really? So I don't know if I'm rinse with river water yet or not, but... It we'll see if I can fit clean. a gainer in off of this. Pretty clean. Oh, it's kind of fun to jump in. You want to go do it? Uh, we got to go. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we appreciate you talking to us today. You know, I, I'm sure you're really excited not only just to be performing, but also to get to actually interact with fans. Yeah, that's you no, know. this is the greatest week for, for country music yeah. um, in the world. And that's my favorite part is I mean, we've got a, a house full already of country fans that love country music and mm -hmm. just to spend time with them and say thank you. Yeah. You know, for yeah. what they give us is, is awesome. Yeah, and you've been here, you know, in Nashville. How many years did you say? Nine. Nine. Yeah. years you know your experience at the bluebird and just in nashville in general uh -huh. this weekend so important to the city how special it do you really think is. that is people coming in here for it totally event. is and for me you know i mean i started out here on broadway on lower broad at these bars yeah and uh you know those bars are still a huge part of this week too it's uh it's a dream come true to be a part of it um like i said i've, I've been here for years as a fan so i appreciate um this side and that side. Yeah, of the and you know, and in a sense, you're still a fan. Get to see oh, other yeah, artists no that doubt are out about here. It. Yeah. Absolutely, get well, to hang out with you. And... Yeah, well, you know, you're a fan of me. I didn't know. Well, no, I'm just kidding. So nice to talk to you, Dustin. Just, Thank you so much. I think I just got stung. It's all good, though. Seriously? Look at me. I'm we got to go to break, guys. We got to take care of this. Let's just, you want to go this way? <laughs> yeah, we'll go this way.